Hi guys, got a few more of my old pop pop boats. That's a cute little one. That one inspired by a pop pop boat by Grain. So there'll be a link in the video description when I use that one. Eat under there, and then under here you'll see it points in opposite directions, so it spins round. And then this one, I do rather like this one. It's just an odd bit of copper pipe, quite thick, about what's that? About three millimeter? No more than that. Oh, eight millimeter diameter. Quite a thick pipe. Just a single pipe. Uh, you have a bit of trouble getting the water in there to begin with. But once it's in there, heat it up and it works as a pop pop boat. A single pipe pop pop boat. So I'm going to try and get some of them working. The other thing is I usually use tea lights which take forever to warm them up. Eventually they get hot enough, but they take quite a while. I demonstrated using a fire lighter in a recent video. That heats up very quickly, but produces an awful lot of smoke. Really needs to be done outdoors. And today I managed to find a shop selling, well, candle wick. Well, not candle. Um, what do they call them? Storm lamps. Um... Paraffin lamps? Yeah, paraffin lamp. Because not many places sell this anymore. This was the last bit that that particular shop had in stock. I've got a little aluminium container here. So today's plan, cut a slot in the top of that for that to stick out. Stick a little bit in there. Put some methylated spirits in there and see if we can run one of these. Probably try and run that one with it, because that would be the easiest one to get started. So that's plan A today. Cut a slot in the top of that, stick that in it, stick some meths in it, and see if it runs. Okay, that looks good enough. Don't want much sticking up, do we? We just want a little bit. Yeah, something like that. I'll go and put some methylated spirits in there. Various other sorts of alcohol will probably do the job. And we'll see if we can get it working. Right, this is what we're going to use. Methylated spirits.
And we'll put this in here and leave it to soak for a while. And when it's managed to soak all the way up here, which it seems to have done already, we should be able to light it. Okay, you can't really see that, but that is burning. Blow it out again, so I don't burn my hands. Put the top back on this. Put that out the way. Now we've got to get some water into this one. Okay, if we go into oh no, that's the one that I've opened out a little bit so it fits in there. There we go, that's all the way through. So pop that under there. Light it again. Yes, that's virtually a clear flame. You can't see it. Which is a lot better than that uh, fire lighter with the black smoke. And off we go. I'll move the camera so we can see that flame. And there we can see the flame. It's got a bit of colour to it now. It's got a bit of carbon burning. Oh, that's picking up speed as well. Well, that's excellent. That's a really efficient flame. Giving us plenty of heat. I say, this design was by Grain. That's why it's got Grain written on it. So there'll be a link in the video description to my original build and to his video, if it still exists. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.